I'm excited to have just presented the CARDIA-3 trial at ESC 2025. We did the trial because uncontrolled hypertension is the single biggest risk factor for cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. And zilabisaran is an investigational RNA interference therapeutic that inhibits hepatic production of angiotensinogen, which is the most upstream precursor in the RAS pathway. And it has the potential to provide continuous control of blood pressure with just single subcutaneous dosing every six months. The purpose of the CARDIA-3 trial, which was a phase two randomized multicenter trial, was to look at the efficacy, safety, and optimal dosing of zilabisaran amongst patients with elevated cardiovascular risk or known cardiovascular disease and uncontrolled hypertension despite being on two to four antihypertensive therapies. And really the objective was to understand how best to inform the design of the cardiovascular outcomes trial. And what we showed at three months was that there was a placebo-adjusted change with the zilabisaran 300 milligram arm of minus five millimeters of mercury, and with the 600 milligram arm of minus 3.3 millimeters of mercury. And after adjustment for multiplicity, these p-values did not reach statistical significance. But what we also saw was a very encouraging safety profile on top of other RAS therapy, which has really never been shown with dual RAS blockade in the past, and that was very exciting. And we also showed that in a subgroup of patients who were on diuretic therapy, they likely have greater blood pressure lowering. And we saw that if they also have elevated blood pressure of systolic greater than or equal to 140, plus being on a diuretic at baseline, they reach placebo adjusted changes of minus nine millimeters of mercury at three months. So this really helped us to inform the cardiovascular outcomes trial that is about to begin. It's called the Zenith trial. We're very excited about it. And it will test zilabisaran 300 milligrams Q6 months versus placebo for, the prim for primary cardiovascular events. And we're very excited about it.